guess who's back? Back again. Babs is back. Tell a friend. What's up, y'all? Today, we are going to be learning how to do the lazy girl method using polygel. Let's get going. These are the products that I'm going to be using to recreate the lazy girl method. Hmm. Hmm. What is the lazy girl method? The lazy girl method is taking poly gel, placing it inside a soft gel tip or full cover nail and applying it to your nail bed, curing it and voila, you have a lazy girl method. I always encourage everyone, as I've been encouraged, to make sure that your nails fit sidewall to sidewall. Sometimes you have to file down the side to make sure that there is no overhang onto your nails because if that happens, your nail is going to pop off. very important that before you even begin adding product inside your nails that you etch up the inside so that it can receive your base coat and your poly gel and all the things that you're going to place inside your nail. Oh, so I stepped out of the box. I bought this McCart gel polish that's glitter and I just used a thin layer inside my nail, cured it for 10 seconds just to get it to set. Anytime I felt like I needed just a little bit more glitter, I used the glitter that you see there in my little paint container that I like to use, set it for 10 seconds. Then I put a little bit of poly gel in purple. As you can see, look how gorgeous that is. All right, to the newbies on the block to DIY in your own nails, I would like to encourage you to take your time. Don't feel rushed. It takes me about six hours to do my nails because I am still new to the game. I make sure I have nothing else on my schedule for the day. So I just want to encourage you to take your time, do it right. You can do it, baby. Do it tonight. Girl, take your time, do it right, do it right. Well, as you can see, all of the nails, all 10 nails are ready to be placed on my nails. Hold up. Wait a minute there's still more to be done you have to dehydrate your nails this removes any oils you can use alcohol i prefer to use my mccart the de nail dehydrator i follow that up with my primer now i like to think of primer as two-sided tape it sticks to your nail bed after you've dehydrated, and then it also allows your gel polish, your poly gel, your acrylic to adhere to the nail primer. The primer is important. It ensures that you have long lasting nails. We have the dehydrator, voila. We have the primer, voila. The next step is base coat. I cure my base coat for 60 seconds per nail. These three musketeers, the hydrator, primer, and the base coat are very important. Failure to do this step will result in your nails popping off lickety split. And we're not trying to have that happen. These girls need to last for three weeks. So as I'm placing my nails onto my nail bed, you see that I'm taking the alcohol 
and my little thin detail brush and I'm cleaning up any spillage. This is going to be important because once I cure, these girls are here to stay. So before you even cure your nails, which I do for 60 seconds, I always make sure I clean up any spillage from around my cuticle area and I look underneath my nail and I flatten out any bubbles, any products that's underneath my nail that may be too thick. I get that smoothed out as much as possible without making it too thin before I cure my nails. Remember, we are not popping these nails off and we already have a thick layer because it is a nail. So we want to make sure that it's not too thin, but not too thick. So what you see me doing now is just putting a little bit uh, vitamin E oil around my cuticles. I am getting ready to buff my nails, file my nails, shape my nails, and I got that idea from McCart on Instagram. I was watching the video, and that was one of the things that I learned because it does help to smooth out your nail when you start filing them. So let's get to filing, shaping, and we're going to go ahead and clean up our cuticle area. Um, I don't worry about my nails popping off at this time. I normally make sure that I have a full cure. I love, love, love my cart's nail files. They are the best, the best. I can hit my cuticle area to get some of that bulkiness away without my nails burning. As you're gonna see here in a little bit, I am gonna have to pull out that e-file because my hands got very, very tired. So I'm going to be pulling out my fine bit, drill bit, and I'm going to put it on a low speed and clean up my cuticles. So I got to clean up what I messed up so I don't have to start over again. Yes, this is going to be so important. Go ahead and take your time and clean up. Make sure that you have a fine bit. I love, love, love Panna because it does not burn me at all. So what I'm doing is making sure I'm getting any bulkiness. I'm using this time to shape my nails. I am not going to have my nails as long as you can tell. I already cut them down. This is an almond shaped nail by McCart, but I really don't like my nails long at all. So I am just making sure that I'm filing and shaping um, as best as I can. And this comes with a lot of practice. And I am not the best at this, I must admit. Once you are happy with the results, it is now time for the top coat. The top coat brings it home. OMG, you look at your nails and you are so in love. Well, I am with the finished product. I add my oil to make sure my cuticles are rehydrated. And then you see that Nadi2, my yet heart essential butter. I love, love, love. Yes, honey, I love this. And you can get you some. Her link is in the description box and you'll get 10% off on your order if you use Babs Bodega check those beauties out y'all this is my lazy girl method and i hope that you have been inspired to give your nails an upgrade until we chat again in the bodega peace